Cheers! Welcome to Movie Bitches! RuPaul's Drag Race Season 11, Episode 6! <laughs> How did we already get here? I, isn't it amazing? We're almost halfway through! First things first, shout out to our wine sponsor, Wink, trywink.com slash moviebitches. You get $22 off your first month of wine! That was a real... I don't know, a real turning cough or something. <laughs> oh my! It was a real... Oh, oh. <laughs> also, thank you everyone. We've had a lot of fun uh, continuing this season. Please make sure to click the like button. Yes! Click subscribe if you haven't. Tell all of your friends to subscribe. In other words, you could subscribe and share. Ho! Oh. I feel like that was a little bob today. Ooh, yeah, just like a little... Just a little... Boop, boop. Oh, yeah. Share. Ho! Oh. So, yes. Ariel has gone, Ariel, and no one knows. Ariel has gone home. Ariel cannot be here today. She is doing what white girls do. <laughs> and the real drama is that Evie is just coming for these queens with the truth. Rue's been particularly poignant about don't be safe. Well, she was safe because so, it was still the same silhouette that the judges critiqued you on changing. I don't know, maybe I'd feel differently if it was like directed towards me, but I generally feel like, I mean, she's telling you the truth. It's harsh, but real. Yeah. And I feel like advice that you should take. The tea is that the judges already critiqued you on having the same silhouette, so now, bitch, time to change it up. She's never given anyone bad advice. No. <laughs> And that's what I think really impressive for me is that unlike Raven, let's say, where sure. she's right but also a big bitch, Evie doesn't seem to she's be malicious. Shit. Yeah, she... <laughs> I would never say that. I would never say that. <laughs> All of you guys think that I'm like, that I'm like nothing. I would never say that. Her interview was, her look was. But Evie would actually never say that. It no. sounds like, you know. Or she would definitely say it to your face and I, say, I think that you're shit. Yeah. <laughs> I would say that. I did, just now, to your face. That's how Evie would handle yeah, it. Yeah, it's hard for me particularly because this is also a struggle that I've dealt with in my own life, where <laughs> I'm often too blunt for my own or for other people's emotions. Yeah. You know? Sure. Um, and Sometimes you just have to feel the vibe. Yeah, you gotta. And Check I think that, you know, they talk about it later in Untucked, and we'll get there, but yeah. like, I think that that's her struggle, yeah. is figuring out when is appropriate. Maybe don't, in the middle of this, like, you know, debrief, yeah. Yeah. throw out Are a... they going to take in what you're saying? Exactly. Or just... Or are you just saying it to make yourself feel better, perhaps, you know, so that you can get your opinion out there? Maybe. But that's what the confessionals are for. Oh, yeah. Give me a sassy confessional, Akira. Loving it. Love, I'm loving it. You tell a bitch to step up, close up, but if a person don't sew, how does she step it up? Start wearing pillowcases? Cutting up the couch? Then bitch is saying, you know that old proverb, if you don't have anything nice to say, then if you don't got nothing nice to say, just let those bitches go home. Sometimes that applies. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, the old proverb, yeah. Age old, I've seen mm. it. Needle pointed on a pillow. <laughs> oh. I think I like that. Now I want to see that needle pointed on a pillow. That'd be great. Oh, yes. And there's like heels in the corner. Oh, like love it. A fan. Oh my god, yes. That would be oh, fabulous. Oh, yeah, fans in the corner. You're yeah. like, yeah, that'd be fabulous. Yeah, I like, oh. it. I like it a lot. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And I mean, if Silky says one more time. And if I got the little C for my life, I'm a little C for my motherfucking life. At least three times in this episode, it seems, has said, if I have to lip sync for my life, I will. Who cares if I'm bad in the challenge? It's just like this weird, I'm like, it's like she wa I mean, obviously she, in, in scenes for the next, she like basically challenges Rue to put her in the And bottom. I'm like, please. Make me lip sync for my life. I don't know, it seems like she wants to lip sync for her yeah, life. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's I weird. don't. I was motherfucking ready. I was ready to do so. What does I have to do with anything, bitch? I don't blame her necessarily. In some ways, but you're playing with fire. Well, you very much are. It's a real cocky game where it's like, I think I'm so amazing at lip syncing that I know that I'll just send them all packing. It's like, mm, or can you? Yeah. Because everything I've seen so far this season indicates no. I bet she would like I'm turn sure. it out with a lot of energy and she everything. She has a lot of charisma. I, I feel like maybe her charisma is more apparent 
in person. Perhaps? Perhaps? Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. I don't feel like it's reading across the television screen. It certainly isn't for me. Well, I it's mean, not my type of charisma. I feel like I'm crazy. Like all the everything she says, and some things she says are funny, and she seems fun, and I'm, mm -hmm. I'm liking her more. Yes, but there's all of these. There's a there's judge big or reactions. Yeah, big and I'm going, reactions. Was it that great? I don't know. Was that that funny? I didn't really find it funny. You want a good show? I'm gonna come and find you. Yes. No, no, you found me. <laughs> Give me a moment to decide if I think it's funny. Exactly. Or not. But anyway, Rue comes in in this Olympic tracksuit. Oh my god, so silly. So silly. With the towel. Big, well, the big like oh. medallion yeah. thing. He reminded me. He looked like Maury in Zoolander when oh, he was going. Oh, totally. <laughs> Trying to go pee. <laughs> AARP is not paying for this. What did you say later? <laughs> yeah, the death drop. <laughs> No, baby, the AARP don't cover that. The mini challenge is Gal. Oh, no. Um, Gal. Oh, God. Gal. Oh, oh, no. Calisthenics. Galisthenics. Gal Galisthenics. Galisthenics. It was, a, it was a hard one for my brain to take it. Galisthenics. I don't, I don't really care for it. I did not care for this mini challenge. No, it was a mess. It, it was, was a mess. It was all over the place. It reminded me of the. Remember when they did that dance? Song. This is sad. It just felt unfocused yeah. and messy. Yep. Um, I mean, it was silly. Yeah. But not particularly fun. Not for me. It was frenetic. So, like, Love Connie comes out full of energy and, yeah, bra, bra, oh my gosh, and, and, like, a lot. I want whatever she's on. <laughs> and then it seemed like the editing matched. Like I couldn't really. Sure. It was just like and this and that and I don't know and where who are and, you, and was we're all in a like, group. But then we're kind of gonna do solos and it's messy. Yeah. She's not actually teaching you anything. It was just a lot. Yeah. It was like sometimes she would have queens do a move and then sometimes the queens could just do whatever they wanted. It wasn't clear as to who had the freedom to choose or not. You know, who had free will and who didn't, I don't know. But it did remind me of that SNL sketch. Remember the old timey exercise you went working the pencils? Cause she's like the weak one. Pencils. <laughs> or air. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna feel the bird. I wish they had gone more that route. Oh yeah, a little Giving them slapstick something to do jokey or... So, I mean, I really wanted Susan Powder to be there. Oh my god. I would have loved that. I mean, Ruth said, oh, well, as a celebrity and whatever, I have <gasps> lots of connections. I got I know so that. excited. And I was like, oh, it's Susan Powder? Jane Fonda? What is it going to be? Oh, oh, holy oh. shit, if Jane Fonda had come. Could you imagine? She was just like, she would just have a bullhorn and just go, squeeze and thrust. Now squeeze that buttocks as you have. Oh. <laughs> Would have liked it. Yeah. Like Evie does all these front flips, yeah. which were really impressive, but I was concerned the whole time. I was, I'm concerned whenever she moves now. I'm like, ah! She's like a little China doll. Oh right? my God. Well, then, I mean, it is really quite spectacular to watch though. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cause she's so tall and it's gangly. So tall. It's like a, a reed in the wind or yeah, something. Like, you know, woo, it's just, woo. or like, <laughs> He's like, like the balloon man. Yeah. I was gonna say like like Christopher Lloyd at the end of Roger Rabbit just like oh. It's a little unworldly. Like, yes. What? Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know, almost Tim Burton esque. Yeah. Ooh, now I ooh, love I that. Love some Evie Oddly in a Tim Burton movie. Well, putting it out there. You don't think so? I'm just for, well, for, for Tim Burton's sake, not for I, like I don't. In a Tim, I, I've lost the faith. In a Tim Burton movie from 20 years ago. From the 90s? Yeah. <gasps> oh, I love this idea. Not in Dumbo, no. Oh, I mean, it would kind of work. A circus, <laughs> it would help. I would show. You know, <laughs> contorting. Yeah. No. I don't see it for her. And then Plastique seems to quite painfully fall. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. My Lord. Um... Shablam a number of times. There's a lot of people that I felt were, had, were injuring themselves. I know. And I was concerned. I mean, Sophie just falls, throws herself down on the ground. It just, they all seem to be. It didn't, and it's like the hard concrete it didn't seem safe. floor. And then she was eating jello? I mean, it looked like a, a beating heart that she'd ripped out of someone's chest. It was like, it was like bloody. It was weird. It looked like, you know, in Dumb and Dumber when he's like. <laughs> 
<laughs> Put that in the doggy bag. <laughs> I don't, I mean, I'm sure it wasn't, obviously, you know, for obvious reasons, um, legally, <laughs> but I was like, what the fuck is she eating? <laughs> yeah. It didn't seem like something you would eat in your hand. No. A banji, I mean, I did love this. This was probably my favorite. She barrel rolls and then her wig falls off, but she catches it and then she continues to barrel roll with the windmill of that the That was banji? Yeah. Why did I think that was Raja? <laughs> it was banji. <laughs> Ah! And she's like, oh, oh, no, 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 no. she like, really like, swung the wig as she rolled. I, I was like, mm. I enjoyed it. I did too. And then it seemed like Akira had the most groove. Mm. You know, she kind of was sitting in the pocket of it all and seemed to be, I don't know, I like remembered her. Okay. I was like, oh, she seemed. She had rhythm. Sure. She might not be able to do choreography, but she had rhythm because she can kind of make it work. And she obviously did. Yeah. Later. Yeah. And also she wins the mini challenge. Yeah. This was just her episode. It was her episode. I love when it happens. When yeah. it's just like, oh, you're feeling yourself. You're nailing it. The sky is clear for you. Congratulations. For the I'm sorry, what? So then we find out that the maxi challenge is the Drag Olympics. Yeah. Drag Olymp Drag Olympics. Drag Olympics. Drag Olympics. <gasps> I mean, okay, first of all, I think you are right that we predicted this last season. We were like, oh, they should do the Drag Olympics or whatever. We with, definitely were like, oh, Adam Rippon should be a judge. Yeah. And they should have, like, an Olympic. I think we might have said figure skating. Mm. But we definitely said Adam Rippon. And Olympics. I feel or like... Adam Rippon, as Nina yeah, West likes that was, to say. Was... <laughs> Ripping off his clothes. <laughs> I'm so excited to see Adam Rippon. He is an American figure skater and Olympic medalist. He does not disappoint. He is so adorable. There's three categories. I kind of wish they'd played up. It seems like they were, they just kind of dipped their toe into the Olympics. Yeah. They didn't quite, I don't know, there wasn't. This, this was very similar to the Dragnastics The challenge. cheerleading challenge? Yeah, the yeah. cheerleading challenge yeah. where poor James Mansfield got screwed out of her Oh, I mean, somersault fabulosity. Glorious somersault fabulosity. I'm still mad about it. Still mad. No, I mean, this seemed very kind of similar, where it's like, yeah. okay, you will put together a routine together like I, where the five of you dance. I feel like it should have leaned more into, like, let's kind of joke about the Olympics and less do a full on physical activity where you again may injure yourself again. Like, it's, haven't they learned their lesson from last time? You would think. Who is underwriting their insurance? Because I wouldn't think that they would agree to this. No, particularly with her pre-existing condition. I, right? But anyway, <laughs> they have to do uh, fanography and voguing and shablam. Yeah. Okay, no, mm -mm. Okay, can we- I wish they'd had ribbons. Oh, well they did at the end. Did they? Peanut, 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 Okay, but like in the routine. Well, right, no, no, no. Like, oh, no, here's yeah. what I would have really liked. Okay, yeah. so first of all, it's weird that they had everyone have to do all three. Yeah, this should have been- They should have been a team, right? Yeah. A country's team, yeah. and there's different events, and you can choose as team leader yeah. who participates in which events, and mm -hmm. you gotta figure out their strengths and weaknesses, and it's like, well, fuck, Scarlet can't dance for shit. Yeah. So we gotta put her in the... Fans. I don't know. Whatever. So <laughs> right, The right. voguing, because... But also, it doesn't have to necessarily be fans voguing and shablamming. It right, could be, right, right, like, right. we could expand it a little bit. You get the ribbon. Exactly. Oh, there you go. Ooh, yeah. Make it work, bitch. Make it work. I, I mean, I honestly would have enjoyed, like, a, you know, fake, fake uh, beam balance yes. situation. Oh, Ooh, uh, oh, uh, that was a balance check. You know, like, I really wanted them to lean in yes. to the silliness yes. of maybe, rhythm gymnastics. Maybe even w one of the team has to be, like, a um, commentator. I mean, that was weird. The commentating started and then went away. Yeah. I didn't really love it. No. But it just faded away. Yeah. Team Tuck Panistan is performing to Shade by DJ Shy Boy. Get it? Shade? Global warming? It's kind of crazy to me because I always liked... Well, actually, that's not true. I was going to say I always liked Adam Rapon as a commentator, but we never really saw him much as a commentator. It was Johnny it Weir. It was Johnny Weir, who really would have been better. Yep. 
No, we saw Adam Herpon <laughs> fail horribly in the Meet the Queens. <laughs> oh God. I um, spent more time inside. Yeah, where was Johnny Weir? Yeah. <gasps> now I like that show. Where in the <laughs> world is Johnny Weir? Is that, was that already a show? That was his show. But did they use well, the car in, in San world. Diego? It wasn't Where in the World is Johnny Weir. It was a wonderful world of Johnny Weir shit. Something like that. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. World of Weir. The, yeah, something. I love that show. Weir are the world? No. Weir the world. Yeah. Weir the world. Yeah. Yeah, but it's W-E-I-R, yeah. Yeah. That's... Well, you said Weir are the world. Like, like we are the world? Right, but Weir the world. <laughs> but, you know. Well, I, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'd like to see Nina West, like, curl, you know. <laughs> Brooklyn can help her. She's Canadian. Yeah, there you, you go. Know, I don't know. I would have liked them to have a little more fun with this. It yep. seemed more like dance squad than Olympics, Very much so. Particularly once we got to the second team. We'll sure, get there. Sure. They break off into teams. Akiria. Oh, because Plastique also oh, won. Yes. That's right. Here and Plastique are team leaders. Curious team was Tuck Panistan. Right. And uh, Plastique's team was Glamazonia, I think. I wish that had come into play. Like, where was, like, the walking of the flags and, like, ooh, an opening and ceremony? And they come in and then they tear off their tear away yes. pants and they, you know. Yeah. And they make, and you have to make a stupid flag of your sure. country. Yeah, they have to design What are flag. the colors of your yeah, country? Yeah, yeah. I just think they could have had a little more creative fun with it. I agree. It was very limited in scope and, yeah. and inspiration. And somewhat willy-nilly. It was like, oh, yeah. well, be just a good thing Silky, like, took baton, so she happens to be able to... Like, it was... Right. But then the other team didn't seem to have special skills. We'll get into it. We're getting yeah. ahead of ourselves. But it yeah. just seemed a little... It did. Well, and we've got... I mean, I know that, like... Ice skating is like a very specific skill, obviously, but we have two famous ice skaters yeah. as the judges, and yeah. we're doing Summer Olympic right. categories. Yeah. Why not get that fabulous bitch from gymnastics? <gasps> yes! Ashley? Amanda? What, the one with the face? Yes! Or that UCLA team of girls yes. that fucking killed her. Yeah. That got the 10.0. Also, kinds. where was Katya to be the disapproving Russian judge? They're what bringing is? back queens, like, two, right? Ten, ten, there was no score. I was really waiting for the scores. Yeah, there was a lot. Because they mentioned that in the choreography that we're about to get to, but they were like, lack of the technical scores and, and stuff. Fun. Yeah. Bummer. Yeah. I would have loved a lot of the things we suggested. <laughs> so Travis Wall. Oh my God. He's fabulous. He's I mean, obviously fabulous. I've loved him since So You Think You Can Dance, right. which I don't think he watched. No. Yeah. Fabulous. I love though that they're bringing in different other choreographers people. and different ones. Yeah. Didn't know why Adam was there. No, what was he providing? Whatever the dance is, you guys need to sell it. It's a performance. It just seemed odd, like, oh, well, we have it for the week, so right. might as well. Yeah. I don't know. Team Akiria is up first, and I mean, we get another Brooklyn demonstrating, oh, like, okay, God. Brooklyn, can you just run through it one more one time? One and a two, three and a four, and a right and a left, and a right and a left, and a circle to the back. Circle to the hip, step and pull, step and pull. Brooklyn, that looks so good. Oh! And bam, bam, left and right, and whistle, and the, and yeah, thank you. Bam! It was great. <laughs> it was fabulous. And they all do, you know, pretty good. Silky's kind of, you know, flopping around. She figured it out, but sure. it was a lot of her sort of falling, yeah. it seemed. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I did love, this was probably my favorite part of Silky this episode, when Travis was like, Whew, I'm just glad that you guys have rhythm. Bitch, you gonna hate the next team. Ooh, you gonna be angry. <laughs> <laughs> They're just like, Bambi on new legs. Oh, oh. you're gonna hate them. <laughs> and Evie seems to be, you know, going through it, but then starts to kind of break down a little. Yeah. Like, oh, I gotta cheat the turn this time or whatever, and sort of isn't really bringing it up. No, it was interesting. She didn't mention it to Travis at all. Yeah. Which is weird. I don't know if it was the reaction that she got last time from the other choreographer mm -hmm. or why exactly she was like, I don't want to deal with this this time. I think she was like, I want to push through. I don't want to make excuses. I don't want to be a complainer. I think she was just trying to be tough. Yes, I think so. It's just, I guess for me, it was like, mm, I'm not saying it was the right thing to do. Right. I'm saying I think that's what she was I saying. think it was the wrong thing to do. Yeah. I think it was like, look, girl, don't take this choreography if, if it's going to become a problem. Right. And it did. And then maybe he could have tailored it slightly 
to or, be less harsh for you or Exactly. Whatever. Or it's like, well, let's give you two options and you'll see how you're feeling, right? Either we'll work you in this way or you can, if you're feeling for it, you can go for the, exactly. the big whoop-de-loo, you know? The big whoop-de-loo? It's a dancing term, April. It's great. Excuse it's great. You. It's great. But yeah, they're all walking off and Travis sort of pulls her aside and is like, hey, like, what's up? Let me know, blah, 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 and checks in with her. Yeah. And I thought that was nice. I don't want to be babied. Just make sure that we like stay as honest as possible, and then we're gonna get through this. All right. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so much. And she's basically just bummed that she can't like give it her all. Like yeah. she, she can. You, you can tell she's tough on herself. And yes. Obviously, it's like a scary situation. So it was like, ooh, I, the whole time they were dancing, I was like, ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But next up is Team Plastique. Oh my god. And Vanjie is, you know, killing it. Yeah, she was doing really well. It was, I mean, it was a bummer for Vanjie because I feel like she was like, I'm carrying this entire team, you yeah. know, basically. Uh, Nina ended up pulling her weight in other ways. In the performance. Oh, well, we haven't even talked about the whole Raja business. So they have like Raja go through her whole thing and she did pretty well. Yeah. You know, because she hadn't told them that she had 15 years of practice. Or no, it was... Classes. All of the classes. All of the classes. But then it turns out she hadn't done them for 15 years. It was when she was 12. Raj is funny. She kind of like will have self-reflection, but then like bounce back, you know? Like in earlier in the episode, she's like, oh, I'm really, I'm not going to bring it up. I really shouldn't have brought up all those classes, blah, 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 whatever. And I'm like, yeah. yeah. And just recognize that and then learn from it. Right. It doesn't seem like she does. A couple of weeks back. <laughs> I had a situation with another choreographer that really just tore me down. Oh my god. I mean, obviously she's working better with Travis. He's For not sure. being sassy to her and right. he's, you know, more encouraging. Different ways of teaching. Yeah, it seems like Raja doesn't handle sass well. No. Or pushback or criticism Nothing. or... Oh, not even a slight bit of criticism whatsoever. Or like no. joking shade or... Yeah, any... Nope, mm -mm. There's no levity there. No. Oh, but I mean, I did love... I mean, Travis was everything. Um, when he's trying to show Scarlett how to snap that fan. Oh, and yes. just like, I mean, come on, like, you're in drag. Like, you're a queen. <sighs> he was... I was like, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give her that. Yeah. And Banji, I'm praying that these girls get hit by the Rhythm Nation stick. <laughs> I'm praying that these girls get hit by the Rhythm Nation stick. This was my chance to do something good. Like, what did I do to deserve this? Well, and so then we got real the Clint oh, yeah. this week again with Evie. This really oh my gosh. gutted me. Some days I wake up and I can just feel my bones like sliding apart. <laughs> oh, God. So she starts to explain again, like, well, I guess, because she only briefly explained it to the choreographer in that one yes. episode. It was, she like I really said, to brief them. and emotional, but, but succinct. Yeah. This was well, not, she, the, I mean. She opens up more about it and specifically to the queens and talks about how it's not going to get any better for her. Oh my God. It just gets worse and worse over time. I met somebody who has the same disease as me and is 10 years older. They're in a wheelchair. They have heart complications. But her attitude of just... Oh. I don't, I'm not gonna feel sorry for myself. Mm -hmm. I gotta keep going. I'm gonna do this as long as I can because I love it. And if I have to come out in a fucking wheelchair, I will. Yeah. Well, and this made a lot of sense where she keeps talking about how she doesn't want to hear about people's excuses about like, oh, well, I could have done this or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, this is why. This is her trigger because she's like, I don't make excuses for myself and right. I'm working at a certain disadvantage. Sure. Get your shit together. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I see where this comes from. Well, I think too, so like I got one shot. You know, she was yeah. saying like, I have to get on Drag Race because every year that I don't is like another year that I I can't do as much as I want to. My skills are going, are yeah. declining. It's so liberating that if I if I have to go out on stage in a wheelchair, girl, like I'll do it. All the queens are sort of, you know, surrounding her and she's basically just like, I don't like to make it a big deal. I don't like to use it as an excuse or any right. of that stuff. And she's joking. She's like, let's yeah. get back to business. So, so how's everyone else's bodies? Yeah. So for those of us who don't have weird joint disorders, how are your bodies feeling? <laughs> Now I'm not complaining. Uh... So another quick commercial break, and we will be back with the Drag Olympics, the 69th annual International Drag Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> he said 69. Look at that. At the 69th International Drag Olympics. <laughs> So Rue walks down the runway, and I just thought to myself, Whoa! Whoa! It was very 
scary Wonder Woman. I mean, the whole bodice. Like, More this... gold and less leather, but well, right, I sure. liked it. Yeah. Well, I loved the bodice. It was all shaped so perfectly, and I was like, yes! And then you saw her walk, and it was sort of like, golden Venetian blinds on the bottom, and I was like... Mm. Ah. It was more like gold, shiny car wash to me. Those are the same thing, I would say, Andrew. <laughs> oh, okay. Venetian blinds. Big floppy, big floppy things that are... <laughs> yeah. Get in your way. Yeah. A golden car wash. Now, I what's know. that? It's like when lots of people pee on you. <laughs> Not just one person. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's what you were talking about. Man, like literally gold. Yeah. <laughs> like where you yeah, you know. Yes, a golden car wash <laughs> is like where there's multiple. It's just a whole round. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, is yeah, it like? I was gonna say, are you on a skateboard or something? Is, <laughs> <laughs> is it like a long shower or something? And you're walking through it. Something like that. <laughs> anyway. Mm, good. Yeah, but the guest judges are Travis. Yes. And Adam Rapon. Yes. And Mariah Nagasu. Oh, I liked her dress. This yes, was, this like constellation. 90s stars and moons. Yeah. And it was cool. I mean, it was constellations, but yes. But it had that 90s vibe. Mm. This would have been great for What's Your Sign. Perfect. Nailed it. Love that. Like, really, though. Yeah. Yeah, we get uh, Adam and Michelle as the commentators. Right. And it For was a brief moment, a really. A brief moment, and it was punny and... Bad. Like, there was no voiceover. Or, oh, they really blew that one in rehearsal, but they landed it today. You know, I wanted some of that. I mean, why not? Oh, now it's time for the contortionist solo. It's, Whatever it, it needs yes, to be, but give exactly, me some... Exactly, lead me into it. That would have been fun. Mm -hmm. But no, they just disappeared. Well, you know what would have been helpful, too, is if instead of just having this one song, yeah. if they had done the different events, Right. With title cards, and now it, it's time. Exactly. Oh, and we're, we're leading it. Oh, well, okay, we have, you know, performing in, in the... Now it's time for drag bobsledding, you know. I'm love, here for it. Love it. Love it. But even if it was just like the... Lots of green screen work. Oh, my God. <laughs> I would have liked it. Glamazonia, we have a bobsledding team. <laughs> but yeah, they could have even done just like, you know, oh, well. Representing Tarpanistan yeah. is Miss Vanjie. She's a longtime fanographer, but we'll yet to see her real skills once they get the six foot fan or you know some stupid nonsense right, right. maybe even e they could have done like a cutaway to each of the queens being like oh well I, my whole life has been leading up to you know oh to yeah little pe like uh, EPK kits little yeah, like yeah, exactly. oh and this is where I grew up in a small town yeah but I've always wanted to be a phenographer and now it's my chance to show the world what I got you know it would have been really fun it would have been, been a good mixture of like mm -hmm. comedy acting yeah. slash performing it, yeah it would have given the people who aren't as good at dancing more chance to shine yep. you know Yep. I've just always wanted to be on the box of Wheaties. You know, something fun. <laughs> but no, missed up. Run a half marathon in heels. You know, something <laughs> sure. fun. Yeah. Team Mercuria comes out. They're doing pretty good. I mean, they they lift up Evie over yes. the top, and they felt like they were really working as a team. Mm -hmm. They were in sync. They sort of had a chemistry yep. going on. Yep, I agree. Evie gets a whole contortionist solo, which was. At the same time, exciting and nerve-wracking. And also then scared. Like, I was like, oh no, this isn't going well. Oh god, she did not nail that landing. I was, nerve I was scared for her body. Yes. But you know, she powered through. Yeah. So I was like, good for you. Yeah. I mean, I think Akira did a good job of being like, who has a skill, you know? Sure. She's like, hey, Silky, you can do your batons, you know, from one batonist to another. Are you a... You know that I did baton. No, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, in elementary school. <laughs> I'm sorry, not to discount, I mean... I've taken all the batons. All right, Raja, yeah. Exactly. All of them. <laughs> I, I marched in a parade and everything! <laughs> wow! Look at you! We just needed Latrice Royale and her color guard. <gasps> Ooh, yeah! Curious sold the shit out of it. She had so much personality. Yeah, she really did. And she really stood out to me. I mean, and when Akira, like, pushes them all over. Oh, yeah, that's like, great! This song was fun. And yes. It worked out perfectly that like when the part of the song was like, you're perfect, you're beautiful. Brooklyn's doing her ballet sure. or whatever. I did love Evie's like yarn ribbon in her hair though. Maybe, yes. I would have liked more silly references to gymnast, you know, like hairpins and yeah. tight, you know, yeah. buns and... Sure, yes. I would have liked a little more mm, flair. Yeah, yeah. In general. More flair. More flair. More flair. 
a couple more pieces of flair. <laughs> Matching God. hair ribbons, you know, like as a dance team, you know, I wanted them to kind of. I, I feel you. As a dance team. That's really what it was. It's really what it, it was. Just bring it on. Yep. That's what it was. It was you got served, <laughs> but they weren't dance battling each other. No, not quite. They were just dance battling the judges. Yeah, who then also didn't like score them or anything though. There was no... That was such a missed opportunity. I... You know? Yeah. So then Team Plastique comes out Team and... Glamazon. Oh yes, excuse so, me. Glamazonia. 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 <laughs> and this was noticeably worse. Yes. I never thought that theirs was bad. No, it just was definitely worse. Yeah. This looked like, you know, the high school... Yeah. You know, this looks like the Spirit Fingers version of the routine. You right, know? right. It's and like, then... oh, it's just... Oh, a banshee's killing it. Yes. She was really... I mean, she was smart to wear that blue hair. Because I yes. was like, slam, what, yeah. looking at you, and your dancing's the best. Yep. I thought Nina really stole every moment that she could. She was serving face, she face. was serving attitude. And like... She was doing that thing where you can't dance, but you're funny. Yes, yes. You dance bad funny. Yes. Instead of just embarrassing right right it's, it's a very fine line and alaska walks it very very straightly very deft, deftly Def, deftly but she's doing that like, i'm feeling very attacked oh, and she's chasing after scarlet yes, and, her with fun, that, yeah. and then scarlet actually falls yeah they never mentioned it they didn't mention it but she definitely fell she definitely <laughs> for real fell yeah not like oh right i will say i liked that they used the dj Shy Boy. Yeah. Songs. I thought and the first team song was better. I agree. Yeah. And I, theirs was less um, frenetic. frenetic and like kind of... Choppy. Yes. I couldn't tell if it was just that Nina was stealing it so hard or if she was the only one really lip syncing. Yeah. But she's the only one I noticed when she's giving Latrice's whole speech. If you get down, get back oh. up and look sickening and yeah. make them and eat, yeah. it, eat it, eat it, eat it. It was great. That I was really fun. loved that moment. <laughs> They all come out together yes. and the Pledge Evie, of Allegiance or whatever. Was that what it was? That's what it was. Oh, okay. And Evie has hurt her ankle and I'm like, haven't you guys learned? I know, right? Like what the actual fuck though, you guys? How many Put some injuries gymnastic do we need to have mats down? On? Like, but then you can't dance as good. I don't know, but something. But anyway, Brooklyn puts her up on her back and they're like, yeah, yeah. they're doing it together. It was a fun, not Mary Lou Retton, but the girl who did the, the vault and broke her ankle but landed on one foot oh, and like yeah. nailed it. She looks like Carrie Strub. Ouch. Yikes. Girl that broke her ankle whose name I don't remember. That's right. I remember that moment. moment. Oh remember my that God. moment? Yeah. And she got a perfect score. Yeah. She fucking broke her ankle. That's crazy. So quick commercial break and we'll be back with the runway. Category is all that glitters. Is gold, I guess. Because it was all gold. <laughs> right. We'll talk about it. Yep. In very, Just, short, very shortly. Yep. <laughs> So category is all the glitters, and I was like, oh cool, they're gonna have glitter mm -hmm. and shimmer and it's gonna be rad, and then it turned out everyone went gold, mm -hmm. which I understand because I suppose the Smash Mouth song. I mean the Smash Mouth song is just from a gold. proverb, it's not like they came up with all that glitters is gold. Shooting stars, break, break the, the mold. mold. Oh my god. You mean Smash Mouth didn't write that? <laughs> no, they did not. But I was sort of excited for... Glitter. Glitter. And not that there wasn't, but and then I even just... sparkle. Sp maybe sparkle. The sparkle that she starred in. We love sparkles. Sparkle. Why don't we love sparkles? Then first down the runway. Oh my gosh. A Kyria Davenport. I mean, I think you mean RuPaul. Right? This huge wig and this beautiful curvy dress oh, with this like curvaceous. feathered mermaid yeah. skirt. Just like, yeah. Oh, the beadwork was gorgeous. I thought this was everything. Yeah. I almost wish that instead of the huge hair, mm. she had like a Nene Leakes wig or like even then like... it wouldn't be... She was going for Rue. Well, sure. So then it wouldn't be... Sure. She says like, I was wanted to be like Rue. Also, I'd be down to see Rue in a wig like that. Why not? <gasps> Ooh. Now, what would that look like? It might be weird. I think it'd be or great. Marie. Next on the runway is Brooklyn Heights in this Norma Desmond turn. Turban, sort of Madeline Kahn and Young Frankenstein, just like, yes, with this like fur and gold. It was not a fur, it was more like a white cheap boa. That was my only complaint. It was integrated into yes. the drop. Absolutely. Shape. Didn't really bother me. 
And I was like, yes, you're wearing a turban and you've got this long cigarette and I'm... I was fully that. Yeah. Very that. But then I just was like, but this boa looks cheap. I didn't notice. But I was like, yes. Oh my god, yes. More turbans on the runway, I think. She really did it with the eyes. She, gave you she those... really sold it. I was, I was into this. I yeah. liked it a lot. Yeah. But if she'd had like a monkey carcass... <laughs> too much. Too much? Just like a little baby... Little baby coffin in a in like a wagon behind her, just pulling you along. No, too much. I think too much. Okay. If you'd like to hear us talk more about Sunset Boulevard, then make sure to subscribe to Let's Have a Kiki with Movie yes. Bitches, where we review it with a very special guest I coming soon. Our first special guest. Ooh, very exciting. Yes. And we get into it. Oh, we really do. Dead monkeys and all. So then, next down the runway was. Dr. Silky Ganache, MD. We might have to. I think we have revoke to revoke her. I, revoke her doctor's. What is it called? Not just bar. That's law. Yeah. Whatever. A malpractice suit. Her revoke her board certification. Yeah. <laughs> this look was terrible. Oh my goodness! It just was not very flattering, and this sort of cheap gold fabric with like this sort of cocked cross. She was very lucky that she was on the winning team because this is one of the worst looks I'm that sure I've that seen I'm sure that they probably runway. would have ate it up. I don't think, I, how could you, April? It really looked like she made it five minutes prior, you know, an hour prior, whatever, from the, the fabric wall. Yeah. I, I, maybe she took Evie's speech to heart and was like, you're right, I gotta shake it up. I can't right. wear my glitter shit. I'm gonna make this jumpsuit. I don't know. Right. I didn't care for it. But next on the runway was Evie Oddly. And this was some like the whiz fucking realness with yeah. this huge sort of garbage fascinator on her head and this glasses. I mean, she looked like, she says, oh, I was going for like a Asian crime lord or something. What did she say? You know? Yeah, she did say something like that. Yeah, I mean, she's wearing like a kind of kimono. And she's like working her cane. Yeah, oh, she really was. I mean, she was kind of giving me some like Mary J. Blige realness. Mm. You know, like, I want to see Mary J. Blige play this character in a movie. Hey, I'd be down for Maybe that. Maybe James Bond movie is, like, some weird, This like, was giving me more, like, mortal engines. Well, like, yes, actually, very like, much so. She this, would hang out with Miss Fang. Yep. I would love to see that, though, too. Oh, I'd definitely watch a movie about Miss Fang and Evie. Yes. She's, like, kind of hobbling down the runway, and then she just shows her ass. Yeah, I was confused by that. I was like, okay. It was a choice. Sure. Boy, so the next was Sugar Cane. In this Goldar realness. Yeah. From Power Rangers. Yeah. It's like the blue and the gold. I mean, that's just what it was. <laughs> and I kind of wish that she had said that that's what it was. But she was like, oh, I'm an Aztec god. And she had a whole thing. And I was going, I mean, sure, but why are you wearing those shoes? Hmm. They were so low. They were very low. I feel like if she had had real fucking huge shoes, it really would have helped the silhouette. Right, like the presence. Yeah, yeah. Just kind of... It needed, yeah, it needed more presence or something. This was interesting. Yeah, she brings a perspective. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This was better. This was better. Certainly better than anything last week that I she I mean, did. but she was just Goldar from Power Rangers, which is really bringing me back. Go, go, Power Rangers. Mm, 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 mm. Next on the runway was Plastique. Yes. And I don't know, like while this was very polished and gorgeous and looked expensive and all of the above, I was just sort of like, oh. <laughs> Sorry. I liked that she didn't have a big wig on. I liked that it sure. was sort of the, the headpiece was the hair. It was yeah. sort of this bald cap. It was almost cap. spiky. Yeah, and it was very sort of Valkyrie-like. Yeah. You know? And there was something about it that I did really like, but I was also sort of like, eh. It seems like she's wearing the same strappy low heels. Yeah. And glittering and glitter, tights. And it tights. just somehow brings it down. It doesn't yeah. make it... What if she was wearing like big strappy boots or something? Like gladiator yeah. kind of boots with like heels though. Something, and, like, yeah. Yeah. Or I don't know. I feel like she's stuck in a pretty box. We'll see if she breaks out of it. Yeah. This just seemed very similar to a lot of what we've seen from her. Yeah. So the next was Raja de O'Hara. And yeah. I liked this jumpsuit. I thought the fabric was interesting. It was, it was, it was like was. it was like glittery, goldy. Yeah, it looked like a nice 
heavy, expensive fabric. Yes, this though. Didn't really understand the hairball on her head. I mean, from a distance, it looked like they photoshopped her poor, like they like, you know, smoothed her. Yes. They overly blemished her, you know what I mean? It was like, oh no, it got away from me. And I, I ended up just erasing your eyes. I, That's what it looked like from, sure. from afar. And then later they're like, oh, well, it's see-through enough that we could see your expression. I was like, I can't I see can't. it at all. It looked like a like a rat's nest of hair. It did, or a bird's nest perhaps would be a little bit kinder, but yes. Well, it just looked like a teased hair across. Yeah. If it was hair teased across her oh, hair. Oh, I mean, my. I mean, the, the, the that's more choice. exciting. I wish that she flipped it up instead of down. You yeah. know what I mean? And then she could have given me a more like, like, Ruby Rod, like, oh, yeah. Corbin, 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 no, 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 yeah. yeah, it had more, some, I don't know. A big cane, a big fuck off cane. I remember Something. Like, oh, yeah. Because she says, like, oh, I'm, I was going for, like, Met Gala kind of vibe. She said, and I Didn't was like, get that. Mm. <laughs> I don't know why she keeps wearing masks over her face. Mm -hmm. It's like a crutch or something. A little bit. I mean, she did her that? makeup underneath, but, like, yeah, I don't we didn't know. get to see it until the lip sync. I didn't love it. No, me either. Well, then it was like, wait, is that really you under there? Is it Jasmine Masters? Who's okay. here? What's happened? <laughs> Are you wearing Jasmine Masters beekeeping bee hood? But like more fashionable? <laughs> Maybe. So the next down the runway is Miss Vanji. Yeah. And not a great look. I mean, unfortunately, Plastique had just done her Sex, Playboy Bunny. Playboy Bunny, right? And so not that this was exactly that, but it was like, oh, this is definitely worse. Yeah. She kind of looked like she was in the old Batman TV show and she was, you know, like, bunny lady or something, sure. you know? It was like, sure. I'm gonna get you, Batman! You know? Joker Bunny or something. My superpowers, I'm really fertile. I don't know. You know, it was just <laughs> odd. A little bit of, like, James Bond, like, uh -huh. vibe. Like, I wish she had gone full Goldfinger, right? Well, it was funny because when they said, like, all the glitters or whatever, and at first I was like, oh... How fabulous would it be if someone, and I was like, oh, I'm not going to tell you, I'll tell you on camera. Yeah. And everyone goes, if Vanjie came out just covered in glitter? And I was like, yes, and that's exactly else. what I was thinking. Just completely covered in glitter? Yes. Because yes. she wears enough on her chest. Exactly. So that would have been so fabulous, but it was so bizarre to me that she covered her chest and her top of her arms, then yep. she had gold gloves on. They were a different color. Legs were just legs. Her legs were just legs. If she legs. had been like a golden bunny. Yeah. Yeah, here for that. Yes. I was also thinking it'd be really fun if someone came as like an Oscar. Ooh. Or like some, I don't know. That'd be fun. An yeah. Emmy? Yes. The, ooh, an Emmy would be that either. That's more feminine. Yeah. I'd like to thank the Academy. <laughs> um, Are you just about done? <gasps> Free to bed! Because oh. <laughs> Rue has an Emmy, it'd be like... Like you could write on the base, yeah, like Rue plus Drag Race. Really yeah, oh my god, I love it. Just really suck up to the judges. I like that. That'd I like be that fun. A lot. Hippity hop down the road. Yeah, sure. <laughs> get, get the scooter, maybe. Ooh, the segue. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, this was just okay. Uh huh, uh huh. I would actually say that this was worse than okay. This is definitely the worst that we've seen Vanjie this season. Yeah. And so it was just like, I don't want to see you going backwards, girl. Like, what's happening? Yeah, it was weird that she seemingly was going to have a breakthrough. And, like, they're talking to her yeah. in the workroom, and she's like, oh, I really don't want to fade away, and I want to prove to Rue that I'm right, and I want to win this, and blah, da 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 You know, she was really mm -hmm. seemed like it was going to be like, oh, yep. and then she fucking slayed. And I was like, oh, no, what happened? Yeah. So then next was Nina West. Or should I say Nina Vest? Nina Vest? Oh. oh. <laughs> that was Silly, like Heidi. Viking. Yeah. You know, with these stupidly long braids and this sort of like tits out to here. I mean, I agree with Michelle. She should have had pads in the hips and it would have evened it out. I mean, a lot of the girls need to reevaluate their padding and silhouettes we'll because talk about there was it. a lack of tit and a lack of hip that I. There was a lack of tits and, and ass. ass. Yeah, there was. Tits and ass. Bought myself a fancy pair. She always surprises me, even though it comes off somewhat very costumey, somewhat very traditional drag, you could say. Sure. You know, old school, campy theater drag. It's still surprising. It's still surprising. And she really just, her face gets me. It's so good. So she really made me laugh. I like this. I really like this. And I like say it was just like, if you were to be like, oh, what's Nina West going to wear for all that glitters is gold, I would never be like, oh, I bet you she's going to come out in a sparkling, glittering, Viking, Viking <laughs> Helga outfit. Wouldn't have guessed it. Nope. Oh, boy, yeah, so last on the runway, Scarlett O'Hara. Yeah. Nope. 
No, damn it. <sighs> I really liked her makeup. Mm -hmm. She said I was going for Brooke Shields and I was like, oh wait, you like defo nailed it. Like, whoa, you look like Brooke Shields. Yes. Uh, the eyebrows were cool. Yeah. But everything else was flat. The mm. wig was flat. Her ass was flat. Her tits were flat. She wasn't cinched. Like no. the, the sil silhouette was really wrong. Yeah. And the dress was who cares. Yeah. I was like, oh. I mean, yeah. like Mariah says later. She gave us butterfly clips. Butterflies are a very tender subject here at RuPaul's Drag. <laughs> <laughs> she gave us butterfly clips. Though. So. Butterflies are a sensitive subject here. So another commercial break and we'll be back with the judging and a lip sync and untucked, girl. <laughs> so team Akiria wins. Yes. And Akiria wins. Yes. I, I was like, this yes, is all right. and yes. If they hadn't judged it in teams, uh -huh. I would have put Nina at the top. Not over Akiria, but like in the top. But like in, in the, the top, top three. I would have put her in the top Sure. Three. Yes, so they go back, they're all safe, and Team Plastique Oof. has to pick who should go home. Scarlet, 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 Scarlet. And I mean, I did appreciate that Nina was like, Scarlet. I will say this though, nobody has worked harder, so I think that should be noted. Especially, I mean, I guess the judges already noted that, like particularly Travis was mm. like, you know, she... Was the most improved. Right, what it was like, was she the worst performer? No. Yeah. Was she the worst in Dancer? terms of skill? Yeah. Yes. So it's like... I mean, I think it was probably the death nail when Travis was like, I've never worked with someone who's had a harder time with like their feet and their hands moving. That probably didn't help. And then they get to Scarlet. Well, who do you think should go home? And she's like, well, I can't say any of them. And I'm not gonna say I don't say wanna me. say myself, so who are you gonna say? Right. And she sort of says, well, I guess I'd say Raja then. I guess Raja's been in the bottom a lot. A lot? <laughs> All true. All true. And also she was the worst critiqued after Scarlet. I don't know. Well, she wasn't like, Send Roger home, that bitch. She's an untalented. Right? You know, we'll talk she about it you know. in Untucked. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. I do like the phrase, stop relying on that bodysuit. <laughs> yes. Stop relying on that bodysuit. Monet exchange. Huh. That's true. Raja and Scarlett are in the bottom, yes. and they have to dance to Last Dance by Donna Summer. Summer. Summer Donna. Donna. Now, how would her name appear in a phone book? Stretch it out now. Stretch it out. Summer. Summer Donna. Summer Donna, that's right. Summer Donna, that's it. Now get it. Summer Donna. Summer Donna. Summer Donna. Summer Donna. <laughs> oh, that fabulous cunt. <laughs> the lip sync starts slow. Yeah, it's very slow. I mean, usually. That's how the song is. But... That's how the song is, but like I was for a lip sync. Right, you would think they would put it together a little bit, like, Well, I just, I just kept being like, wait, is this like the acoustic version or something? Because it was lasting a while. A long time. And neither of them, I mean, they were both kind of trying to feel it and get into it, but I wasn't, like, <gasps> like really feeling it from either of them. Not particularly. Particularly. Beat starts to pick up, and Scarlett pulls out these scissors, and yeah. I was like, oh, girl, she's coming to, you know, pull some shenanigans. Yeah. Okay. Cuts off her dress to this, like, I mean, not fabulous, but kind of fabulous, like disco bell bottom suit. I mean, I kind of loved it. I thought right? it was silly and fun. It was a it better worked. look than her gown. It really was. She could have just worn that. Probably should have. This was a weird lip this sync. This was a weird lip sync. I mean, Scarlett throws some glitter. She's like, I know I can't dance, so I'm pulling all the stops. She throws all this glitter. It was super fun. I thought Raja was, like, cute, but I wasn't... I genuinely wasn't particularly engaged with what she was doing. I no, was genuinely also, more engaged in what, with what Scarlett was doing. Yeah, they also didn't show us much of Raja. Ugh. You know, it was weird. Like, she jump slash is pushed slash falls off the stage just like Honey Davenport. The ghost of Honey Davenport shoves her off the stage, <laughs> but we don't see it. it. Well, you couldn't. It's a ghost. That's true. <laughs> After post-gangbang. <laughs> So that was weird, just the, where they they seemed to really focus on Scarlet, and I was like, this is engaging. Is yeah. it amazing? No. no. Am I entertained? And entertained? Does this entertain you? Yeah, it does. Yeah. She certainly pulled out the stops. Yes. She thought about it. She made a performance. And she made an attempt to yeah. do a performance. Yeah. I mean, I did love their, like, double, <laughs> Raja does the splits and she just falls. <laughs> I enjoyed it. it made me laugh. <laughs> 
But I liked it. I don't know. I liked it all. It wasn't either of them so fabulous that I was like, yes, both of them have to stay. Oh, God, no. I was like, I mean, I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was that bad. But I just was so... It was so fine. It was, it was good. It was good. I'm not going to remember it. It was fine. I mean, I feel like I might remember cutting her dress and throwing some glitter. Sure, sure. I don't remember anything that Raja did. No. Oh, except for her 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 run dancing. But she kind of did like the running man or something. Kind of. It was a it was weird. It was a little weird. Yeah. I remembered it because it seemed weird. Sure. That's not a great thing. Yeah, the song ends and I was like, oh, okay. It seems like Scarlett's probably gonna win. Raj has been in the bottom twice. That wasn't the most fabulous. Three times. Well, this is her third time. That's true. This is her third time in the bottom. So I was like, okay. It seems like Raj is probably gonna go home because of obvious reasons, and then she sent Scarlet home, and I was surprised. I was quite surprised. Yeah, I don't know, she keeps saving Raja. I would have preferred to see more of Scarlet, sure. but really what this made me realize more than anything is that I really wish that Raja had gone home and Instead Honey Davenport had <gasps> stayed. Because Honey Davenport's been posting her looks on Instagram, and I was like, yes, yes, what's this, yes, yes. And when I happened to see her in downtown, and <gasps> yes. she was fabulous. And I was like, mmm, you really got yeah. shafted. Like it, That was weird. It was. Yeah. It was weird. I mean, I would have been more okay with it if it was her and Raja. Yeah. But Raja was so bad that episode. I, yeah. I don't know. So I'm personally ready for Raja to leave. Sure. She's good. She's, you know, it, it's all good. Yeah. She's still a drag queen who's it, fabulous. Yeah. I'm I just kind of like, it's, it's time, time to go. But we get to Untucked. The safe team has gone back and they're all sort of talking to Evie about like, hey, you know, we really liked that you were more vulnerable this week and you opened up and you kind of shared with us about your disease and how what that means to you and right. how it affects you and all of that stuff. And it was nice to get to know you. And then, I mean, Silky still has to be like, but I don't think that your brutal honesty is necessary all the time. And then, and then I was just like, 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 I love it. it. I personally love your d delivery of things because you are so blunt and honest. You do need that tough love sometimes, but sometimes, you know, everybody don't take stuff criticism the same way. And then Akira kind of is like, you know, there's a, a time and a place and a way and a nicer sort of softer landing on how you can approach things. I thought this things. was all a really good conversation. Positive. Evie didn't get defensive. She no. was calmly like, you know, my parents were very blunt and very upfront about everything. So that's just how I was raised. And it was just like all a very open conversation. I was yeah. like, okay, appreciate this. Yeah. I guess the producers didn't think it was interesting enough because then we get Brooklyn being like, it was like silence for like a quarter of a second. And then Brooklyn's like, so. So I know there was some drama it seemed between you and Plastique over Ariel's wigs. Silky, I heard that you and Plastique had some drama over Ariel's wigs. <laughs> this nonsense. I am really over it. Seemed, I don't know what it is, but Silky keeps bringing up fake, stupid drama mm. that I really am not here for. Mm. I'm just like, I don't care about this. Yeah. I don't care that she said that you guys needed the wigs. How in the hell are you gonna say those other girls need it, need it. when your whole wardrobe was rented? <laughs> right. Like, that's such a stupid thing to get upset about. Like, some offhanded, shady comment of like, right. oh, well, clearly they, they need, need it. They need the wig, so. And then she has, I mean, she's putting it on for the cameras. Sure. It's silky. Sure, but it's annoying. It's, it's definitely I annoying. I hate it. But it's definitely transparent Sh yes. to me. Yes. It's like, this is obviously. Yes. Well, we're gonna talk about the drama later like, because I don't know. I'm like, I don't want to. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think anyone who watches this knows what that sound means anymore. Nobody knows about the TiVo noise. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Oh. Remember how TiVo was like revolutionary? I just remember. It was a oh my god. I just remember I being able to, to run record back and forth Grey's Anatomy. Between different VCRs and hit record and then run to the it other It would VCR. do it automatically? What? What? Oh. Uh. And then I could watch it later. Oh my god. Oh, and then I erase it? Uh, or keep it? Yeah. Uh, to watch again? Oh my god. Without rewinding? Or having to put it onto it. Oh my god. Uh, Love uh, it. It's amazing. Um, anyway. Yeah. Oh my gosh, because all the, this drama of Ariel left a bunch of wigs yeah. that were. Some of them were in Plastique's area and some of them were not in a different area. Those were my wigs that Ariel left for me because they were in my area. Oh. But it's okay because those girls need it. 
clearly you can look at my station and tell I don't need any hair. I mean, it was funny that like once they actually started to be like, well, did she leave you a note? Did she say oh. that you could have the wigs? No, no, but we were best friends, so obviously they were for me. It was like, okay, now you're <laughs> putting holes in the boat now, okay? Let's calm down. <laughs> like, shh. Give me those wigs back then. Exactly. I don't know. You, yeah. Or don't. Whatever. I need them, or I don't need them, or who cares if you need wigs she or didn't don't. Wear a repeat wig in the challenge. I thought about it. I did think about it. It was, you know, just there was talk of wigs and needing wigs, and she did wear the same wig. Just putting it out there. At the same time, when Vanjie goes, "Burn the wigs," I was like, "Yeah," but actually. Burn the wig! <laughs> Bitch! Burn the fucking wig! So then the bottom queens come back and Raja is pissed. Yes. And just so, oh my god, it's just so insane. She's really mad. I mean, she keeps saying, I'm not like mad at you or anything. Like in that tone, it's like, what's happening? It's not like, I'm mad at you. That's just how I, I talk. You're very mad at me. You threw me under the bus because you said that I should be eliminated and Scarlett's pretty calmly just being like, I mean, you were the one that got the second harshest critiques. What did you want me to say? You know, like, right. you threw me under the butt. Like, everyone said me. Why are you mad right, right. now? Like, what's happening? She says to Scarlett, you should have said to send yourself home. Like, and everyone's Because you were the worst. Everyone's like, what, girl, what? No, bitch, you are the bottom. You should have said you. I did love that when Silky was bringing up all the drama with Plastique, she's just like holding a hand mirror for Vanjie the oh whole time. God, right. like, so what are you saying? That the wigs aren't for me? What are we talking about? <laughs> they were in my station, blah, blah, and she's just like holding this hand mirror. I liked it a lot. Yeah, it was pretty great. Oh boy, well so then, I mean, I guess this is just gonna be uh, every episode. Yeah, the like, judges Adam come back. Adam and Mariah come back. Adam Rippin. Adam Rippin. They come back, they're sort of talking about who cares. And then the lights, there's a power outage. Yeah. And I was like, whoa, what's going on? Like crazy. Nina, this is just what I've always right. wanted. I've been waiting to get Adam. Adam Rapon in a dark room. And she's just like, I don't know why she turned into Aunt Martha. <laughs> was that what that was? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's simply what well, to do. Uh, um, yeah, but this was weird. Silly. And I've been laughing, like it undercut, like Mariah's like talking about confidence. Oh, yeah. and, like, don't let the judges get to you all the uh, powers that what do we do? Oh God. And then Adam tries to be like, anyway, the conversation that we were having before is, oh, the lights are back on in the middle of my sentence. It was just like really awkward. Really I did like that they were like, untucked after dark. dark. That was silly and yeah. fun. I just want you to know, all I've ever wanted is to be in a dark room with Adam. <laughs> Seven minutes in heaven with Adam rip off his clothes. <laughs> So, I mean, I liked this episode, Yeah. but I definitely thought it could be more fun and creative. It definitely creative. missed opportunities all abound. Yeah, yeah, well, there you go, abound. Yeah. yeah. But I was excited to see Akira step out into the front. Yeah. Because I'm really liking her. I really do too. So cheers to this week and next week. Yeah. Subscribe, share, Patreon. Thank you guys so much. Make sure to support us on Patreon for early access and more fun, fabulous things. Oh, and yes. We will see you next week. Cheers. Cheers.